What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a day trading recap. We're going to go over a couple lessons, important message, a bunch of little things, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Check it out. All right, guys. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go over today's recap and uh, we're going to go over a couple of bullet points I really want to go over and the upcoming video that's going to come out uh, here between today or tomorrow. I think it's a very important video uh, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it because you've been asking for it. So, I mean, you've been asking for this video. So I made the video and I'm going to put it out there and I hope you really find good value in it and, and take some good from it. Let's not forget, guys, remember Webull, link in the description section below. You download that app, you fund your account with basically any amount of money. That's a special they have going on right now. Uh, and you get two free stocks valued up to $1,400, okay? So the best stock that I've received from them free was was a 30 some odd dollar stock, but hey, 30 bucks for free? I mean, that doesn't, like, why would you not do that? So link in the description section below. Make sure you take full advantage of that. Uh, today, you know, I woke up, came, in here opened up my scanners trade ideas and uh you know i i looked at what was going on and dtss you know was was what caught my my eye the most you know it had a low float it had news it's a previous mover uh you know shop aim all of these were on my list i tweeted my list out uh my watch list so you know all of these were on my on my watch list and and here's dtss and this is the action we got from dtss uh, this first three minute candle here of the day from 313 all the way up here to 394 and uh, then the very next candle just look at where it opened up and ever since then it's been nothing but a short uh, I mean I expected this to maybe give us at least one move outside of this crazy volatility at the at the actual open you know I thought maybe we'd break four dollars go to like 430 440 uh, let me get here the daily for you and I'll show you these levels. So here we are. Here's the daily. Uh, you know, I thought we'd break this $4 area right here was resistance. But we actually found resistance right there, almost basically to the penny. And then maybe make a move up here to these 430s, you know. But that's what I thought we'd get at least today. You know, I thought maybe, okay, boom, we'll set that high. We'll pull it back in, consolidate. And then, you know, we'd get that move and a little extension. <laughs> but so far no dice and honestly i have trust issues i this thing could break vwap right now and i don't think i'd touch it uh then you know i was also watching shop here and uh i was looking at it with the options right here well, actually you could see them right here actually and as you can see right now we have a little bit over a dollar spread uh but there were times where this was two dollars and and plus in the spread uh, so no entry there for me either. Uh, I mean, at one point, you know, I saw these things. I was eyeing them at 10 bucks, and at one point I saw them at 18 and the bid was 15 uh, and changed. The ask was well over 18. Uh, it, when, it, even at $10, you know, the spread was still a little bit too big. Uh, I think I think it was $10 on the bid, $10 and change and about $13 on the ask. Then we had... Uh, REXN make a, an appearance here on this little red to green move, but that was short lived so far. Okay, and this is the, as you can tell, the theme of the day. Uh, and then we had what seems to be the best mover of the day, which was AIM, A I M. But before you know, we jump into that one, do me a quick favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you had better luck than me today and found something that you were actually able to wiggle yourself in and make some profit on. Now let's go ahead and check out AIM. So AIM, A-I-M, had this move right here and then just real choppy. And let me show you how choppy this was. Uh, bring over here my trade ideas chart. If you're interested in trade ideas, and you know their scanners coupon code for 15% off in the description section below you can go ahead and use the coupon code I have there for you guys uh, along with the link here's aim AIM you know we had the gap up in pre-market and then the little push off the bell basically 
And then we started to form this flag. I don't know if you can see that flag. I know you can see it now. We started to form this flag here, this bull flag. You know, and you had everything you kind of wanted to see. You have the, the flagpole here with big volume. Then you have the flag formation with decreasing volume. Okay. You can see that decreasing volume right there. Okay. But the breakout never never came inside the flag it just never happened and it would have been nice to have seen that breakout of the flag with this type of volume here but you know typically i would have been looking to buy you know somewhere here in the 140s but today i like i said trust issues not looking to buy uh so i passed on that then we had roku i was i mean i was watching a lot of stocks this morning we had roku here uh it looked like it was about to go i was looking to see if it would break over yesterday's highs but potentially take an entry earlier, obviously, uh, if we held up VWAP. But when we had this double top action right here in front of today's high of day area, um, no trade. I mean, maybe I should have looked for a put because that's a nasty drop from, from 141 and change all the way down to 138. Could have made some money on some puts, but no dice there either. And lastly, oh yeah, we had HOTH. Uh, in the morning, similar action actually to DTSS. Check this out, HOTH, and now let's go over to DTSS. Look at that, very similar action with the with the difference that DTSS is trying to uh, maybe break this VWAP and remain relevant. And then lastly, we had Tesla, uh, you know, just chopping around doing its Tesla things. I couldn't break this 790 area, and if it breaks 790, you know. Then we have a shot at maybe you know doing something, but I mean Tesla's really not in play until it breaks this 820 pivot, 800, 820 pivot. You know if it breaks 800, it probably will test 820. A uh, break of 820, then you know we got room up here to 850, and then beyond that, you know it's anyone's guess. Maybe we got another squeeze to the thousand dollar club, but guys, I mean really lackluster action lately and then one oh let me show you real quick here um my order box no orders done and the importance of today is no trades no money lost no money made but it was extremely hard to make money today for at least for my watch list you know so played it safe yesterday was a green day uh no trades today i'm looking forward to tomorrow maybe tomorrow is another no trade day i don't know but the point of it all is that i exhibited you know discipline today i remained and i'm really proud of that i remained safe i remained you know cool-headed sure there were things here i wanted to trade but no safe entry equals no trade okay i'm protecting my mental capital and my actual capital in my account you know if i would have taken a red day today knowing that it's looking really bad and i probably shouldn't trade anything and i would have taken a red day it would have messed with my mind it would have been like oh jesse why did you do that you know better you shouldn't have jumped in on that flag you know how a small capture trading uh you know you you didn't like the spread on the shop puts so why did you you know jump in there etc if i would have taken a red day today because of that then it would have messed with my head. It would have. So that's me protecting my mental capital. And even if I would have lost 50 bucks today, okay, keeping everything tight and small. Let's say I lost 50 bucks today. Uh, I mean, that. why? Why? I could have just used that 50 bucks and done something fun or saved it and, you know, taken a little bit extra risk next time around. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? Why would I force a trade here when the reality is there's nothing worth my money and my, my mental capacity, like my mental uh fortitude like my mental health in a sense right like why am i going to stress over one of these subpar trades when i don't really have to when tomorrow is just right around the corner i think that's something very important we don't have to trade every single day if the opportunities aren't there We don't have to force trades. And even me that i have a youtube channel on here and i really wanted to bring you guys a trade today especially in a small cap sector but why would I, you know, force myself into a situation that's going to cause me to be mad at myself and lose money just to bring out a, a video for you guys showing you, hey, I traded today. No, rather I show you, hey, I was disciplined today. I hope you enjoyed that in the message. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know how you did today. Drop it in the comment section below. Once again, remember to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.